Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do an Astrogallomancy style general reading, whatever comes out for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and South Node. A lot of taking charge with past circumstances, it seems like, thus far. Um, I'll go ahead and roll the dice to see which signs this will be for. Um, so we're going to aim to cover as many signs and placements as we can, okay, for the next uh, few days of energy, and for the weekend, I guess. <laughs> um, so whenever you see this video, it's just within a few days, okay? It's not time-specific, it's timeless. Um, but if you don't have your sign come up this round, uh, check the last round from, I think I posted on Monday, um, or the one coming up for next week, okay? There may be messages there for you, too. Um, there may be more than one. <laughs> there may be some layered insight, okay? All right. So... You know, just I would check all the placements as well. So this would be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, South Node, okay? Uh, could be your energy or energy around you. This is also including cross washer energy as well. So it's energy. We'll see where it goes, though. So. All right, Spirit. What guidance do you have the general collective at this time for one of whom and what it will resonate for when it's time is divine? Please, and thank you so much. All right, any duplicates I will re-roll. And we have one here. And we have another one. We're not doing any highly aspect of this round. All right. So first one out is Gemini. We seem to be getting a lot of Gemini. And we also seem to be getting a lot of Pisces as well. And I think Sagittarius has popped up quite a few times as well. So that may be significant. All right. And Scorpio. All right. I'm going to go ahead and write these down before getting our tiles. So pause for a sec. All right, let's get six letter tiles for words, acronyms, initials, places, names, etc. If you see any I don't happen to notice, go ahead and comment down below. Okay, so thank you, Spirit, what we got. All right, so first letter out, we have O. Oh, that's upside down. Oh, no, you can't really tell, huh? We have Y. Oi! <laughs> we have D. We have F, we have G, I see the word dog and God, and we have R, I also see frog. <laughs> All right, fry, dry. Roy. Roy might be a name that might be significant at this time. Right, I'm going to pull some identifier decks here. Pull some place situation thing. Do that one wine. Please thank you, Spirit. We're going to do tea leaf, past life, um, location identifier, uh, life purpose, Lenormand, Lunology, and Kipper. And then we'll go ahead and clarify with the Rock and Roll Tarot. Get a couple from each half stack of tea leaf, please. All right, thank you. All right, perfect. Thank you. Let's get our past life oracle to identify. I also see Rod in that as well. One more, please, Spirit. Fog, that's another word I see. Maybe there might be a cloudy circumstance. We'll see. The one from the location identifier. And the lack of fog shows up. Because <laughs> it might be literal fog. Maybe we live in a foggy place. We got two here. All right. And my purpose oracle, please. Right, that wants to fly off the table. That must be 
excited. And it went from Lenormand, please. Thank you. That was quick. Nice. All right. It went from Melody. All right. I can see why we have some fast energy here. Let me pull that out in a second here. All right. So starting off with tea leaf, we have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Firecracker, <laughs> excitement. Okay. Could also be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Bowl, plenty of material things. So an abundant, loving, deep affection, caring. Could be exciting times coming ahead. Um, firecrackers could also indicate some kind of holiday and we are having quite a few come up. So that could be very much coming true. <laughs> You've got family wishes coming true. Well, so perhaps some good news around the holidays. Lots of loving good news. Let's see here. Your past life identifiers is something having to do with a father, patriarch, father figure, a new dad. Maybe that's the exciting news, the excitement and family wishes, right? You have spouse, so partnerships, right? Hmm, this could be very good. I'll see. Your two location identifiers are town, so that may be something that will identify person, place, situation, thing, okay? Could also be an interest, maybe somebody that likes to live in a town or has a favorite town of sorts. And southeast, okay? So like if you're in the U.S., it could be like Florida. It could be somewhere around there, right? Um, southeast Asia is another good. It could be anywhere in the globe, though. It could just be on the southeastern corner. <laughs> All right. Your life purpose oracle is author. This could be just an identifier. Perhaps this is somebody who likes to write um, or loves books or has a favorite author or knows authors or does write. Something along those lines. You have the Queen of Wands. Again, Aries Leo Sag, a feminine energy. Okay, very passionate. Okay, artistic, creative. You have number 40. Wine is the symbol of cheerful, cheerfulness and gaiety. And with this family wish coming true and excitement and plenty of material things, this could be a party, okay? Let's stick you close. We, I'm going to put it right here. There you go. <laughs> Your moonology card is new moon and Aries. That could be a timing card. So next moon, new moon Aries or the last one. It could also just be a moon sign in Aries or you're just dealing with an Aries. We do have a lot of fire going on here, okay? All right, let's get six cards from the Kipper to identify the situation further. Particularly with this family wish coming true. There's plenty of material things. Something to celebrate about, perhaps, with wine over here. And this excitement with regards to father and spouse. What is this? What is this wish coming true that we need to take time, time, time take action on? Get timeliness on this as well. One. All right, three more, please, Spirit. This poor deck is so, so bent and used. Well loved. All right. Sometimes it has trouble. I'm not taking any in reverse, though. Okay, so 39 breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3. Community. So a whole family here. I'm seeing family with this. Maybe since it's town, maybe it takes a village, right? Like maybe neighbors and friends are involved in this situation as well. You have number 20, house. So something going on at home that's happening. All right. Next one up. Yeah, that's the one. Is number 11, sudden wealth. Sevens are also a lucky number as well. Elevens are manifestation. So some good luck is being manifested this time. And it could literally be something tangible like money or opportunities that are huge for a large group of people. You hit the jackpot, so to speak, right? 19 breaks down to a 10. Tens are endings. You have coffin. 
This could just be that something that had been oppressive is now ending. So we'll, we'll go ahead and clarify what ended, what the coffin is all about. See what the next card is. Something ended in a family. Number 21 also breaks down to a three. And, ooh, timing card here. You're going to find out more. In seven days specifically, there will be a message. This is typically good news, okay? Whatever this message is. I'm going to find out what this, I'm excited to know what this is ending is. What is coughing here, spirit? What's coughing about? Could be that. Could be that. All right. What is this ending? This news of something in the family ending. What is ending? So we're going to be cheerful and have gaiety and excitement and plenty of material things and wishes coming true. Love, deep affection, sudden wealth with this family situation. What is ending? We have King of Cups. We have Temperance. One more, please, Spirit. <laughs> All right, we have two, a three of wands, a rival, success, ambition. Maybe somebody had gotten their shit together. <laughs> so, you know, because you see cups here, it's like intemperance as well, and it almost wanted to come up in the reverse. Maybe this was an alcoholic that's no longer an alcoholic. Maybe they got their shit together. Maybe they're healed. Could be that they're... They're coming into some sort of balance, this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a sense of calm and sublime now. Someone that's generous, bringing in balance with the temperance here. And the arrival of it with the Three of Wands. Let's clarify temperance, Spirit. Knight of Wands. So maybe they had been a cocky person before. Imbalance. Maybe impulsive and it made a bad decision. They had Eight of Wands. Maybe they went too quickly into something. One more. Maybe you're not supposed to know it now. you got to wait till this message comes in. All right. One more, please, Spirit. What was this impulsive news or communication with this person in the past? Conflict, strife, five of wands. Maybe they were just a very, um, they were an adversary, and now they're not. Because they're in temperance, right? They're now a king of cups as opposed to a knight of wands. Sounds like somebody gave themselves an upgrade. Okay, so what are these wishes that are coming true? Is this the wish coming true? Is that the, this person got their... Emotional shit together. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Because that could cover a lot. What are these wishes, Spirit? What are these wishes? What are we celebrating? Lovers, romance, relationship, attraction. Eight of Cups. Journeying to the unknown. Having some faith. Over some betrayal. Maybe getting over the betrayal. Ooh, healing. That's what this is. This is relationship healing. All kinds. Balance. Two of Pentacles. Yes, this is re relationship healing. This is doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Could very well be. You do have spouse on board, but you also have father. So this could be whole family healing. That is what's probably coming true in a beautiful situation and lucky. So, is that what we're celebrating here, Spirit? Is this excitement? This is beautiful. Maybe it'll give some creative insight as to what to write about for whoever the writer is in this situation. What are we celebrating? What else is there here with this celebration? Moving to calmer waters with the Six of Wands, or Six of Swords. Ooh. Especially for an empress. 
who has been considering and pondering and coming up with ideas. What are we what are we doing this four cups? What is this about? This inspiration. Six of Pentacles. Perhaps this is just giving to a situation again. This King of Cups may be an Empress now. That's what I'm getting. All right. All right, here we go. Sorry, I dropped it. <laughs> All right. I like that. That's great energy. Let's get some signs and sinks on that. Maybe uh, along with this seven, seven days here with the message, what else can the collective be on the lookout for? Signs and sinks, please. This is beautiful energy, guys. I'm loving this. This is healing. Seems like it's going to be like whole family healing, whole community healing, right? Bringing it all back together. Sometimes we just have to realize our position in things and if we've been too impulsive about our decisions and not being considerate of others' needs. And maybe this King of Cups finally had a change of heart and realized his own role in the situation, took accountability, right? Started to nurture the situation instead of working against it. Awesome. I love that. Transformative, for sure. And that's when your abundance comes in. All right, we got two. Your first card out is red feathers. So the color red and feathers. This could be your message coming in. Um, maybe it might come in a red envelope. <laughs> Time of spiritual growth. Gifts are appearing. All right, that's how you'll know. Now, you'll also have to be aware of 444 on the shadow side here. Um, it's just an indication to go with the flow, trust the universe. This could be an energy around you that might just have some wounded inner childhood, you know, kind of energy going on. They're pushing too hard or desiring for acknowledgement. Okay. So maybe that's just a reminder to step back, you know, from that energy and kind of flip the script on it. Okay. And the King of, King of Cups energy turning into Empress, that's definitely flipping the script and um, doing a little transmutation. There you go. All right, so let's get one or two cards from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Please and thank you, Spirit, although I think one will be more than adequate for this situation. It's not too layered. You've got a trans, you've got a butterfly situation happening there. I love it. All right. The card you have is Miss Spiderweb. Reconsider your alliances, make new connections. Number 14. Spiders are also about sort of universal connection within groups. So this is definitely apropos for it. Number 14. And where are you? There we go. Spiders are so beautiful and patient, so hardworking and clever. They are self-sufficient. They may inspire fear in some people, but they are most often creators of the most complex threads and patterns. And they do this each day. Their threads are gossamer fine, like fairy dresses and magical garments, but they are the canny spider's way of feeling the vibrations of the world around them, a home as well as a net to which catch what nourishment is needed. You too must be more mindful at present. Listen to your spider familiar. Ask Miss Spiderweb where would be best for you to weave these connections. Wonder what it is you truly need. Ask your spider familiar to clearly show you what vibrations and energetic messages you are currently ignoring, what opportunities are flying by and caught. So, with that 444 on the shadow side, um, this is definitely where to invest your energy, right? Um, with regards to the group as a whole, okay? You may need to take some action, okay, towards the positive and do that transmutation. So this is really just kind of reaffirming that you need to be able to pay attention to what is good, what can be transmuted, and so forth, okay? Miss Spiderweb speaks. When a spider comes to you, as I do, and this also may be a sign or synchronicity as well, it is time to reconsider your connection so you can catch a fly. Your every phone call, your every conversation, your every thought connects you energetically to another. Weaving and weaving, circling round and round, we hang suspended in a net of connection together. This also talks about effective communication, right? When you have me with you, you will begin to understand what must be rewoven and rewired within these relationships. Some cords must be retraced, restrengthened again and again, and others must be taken down, removed, or recreated in a fresh territory. I, the spider, wait 
and you too must weave the web of your life and wait. If you have patience and tenacity, what you've been waiting for will find its way into your silken threads. Make sure that where you are weaving your web is the right place for you. Otherwise, you're likely to catch what is not needed. Prepare for a time when you reevaluate your connections, as well as the value of where and with whom you network. You will soon begin to shift your focus of communication to a place that will see you prosper, grow, and thrive. It is time to capture some of your dreams by placing your efforts in the right place and by speaking to people who can help you. You will need to initiate this activity yourself and stop relying on other people. Ms. Spiderweb is asking you to get very interactive with your capturing of information, leads, and prosperity, even if it means remaking what you felt was already in place. You have to continually evolve. This magical companion will show you how, where, when, and once you do, you will know why. There will soon be new technologies, new connections, new locations, and new people in your life. And perhaps that's exactly where this King of Cups just came from, right? Maybe they've reevaluated their whole life and realized that they had some gunk in there that was creating conflict within this family dynamic, okay? That could be very well it. Weave your web wisely. Say that ten times fast. Weave your web wisely. <laughs> Get tongue tied. You will be rebuilding social networks, closing down old websites, removing yourself from the web for a time. Literally the, the world wide web, right? <laughs> it could also just be metaphorical. And extricating yourself from friendships that keep you stuck in the old you. And since you do have a King of Cups here that has transformed into an empress, <laughs> that could very well be that there were old social connections that had kept this person um, from behaving responsibly around a family. Now there's time for family healing, right? Because they've long since ditched that, right? And it could very well be this father. Maybe there was an absent father in a situation that left a mom to do the single mom thing or vice versa. It could have been a mom leaving and, you know, for a single father situation, right? Goes both ways. Well, all situations regarding father figure, mother figure, doesn't have to necessarily be man and woman, right? <laughs> so, and now there's a chance to transform this and have some positive gaiety involved in celebration regarding this whole new family dynamic, because essentially it's been reborn, right? All right, there you go, guys. Have a great one. Bye.